Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business, and today in our fifth of five FreshBooks tutorials, I'm going to teach you how to print reports. So let's get started. As always, let's start from our FreshBooks dashboard. So here's what our dashboard should look like. And so let's go to our left menu bar and go down to reports. And this will provide a list of all the reports available in FreshBooks. It's not the most comprehensive set of reports, but it certainly has all the major reports uh, that are important for both providing details to your accountant at tax time and managing your business. So at the very top of the report screen, we have favorite reports. You can add up to five favorite reports and to include a report at the top, all you have to do is click on the star. So if we click on our accounts aging report, that then moves it up into our favorite reports. So let's go into the detail of some of these. So um, if you're providing reports to your accountant, um, probably the two most important reports to provide are a balance sheet and a profit and loss statement. So let's go ahead and I'm going to add balance sheet to favorites because it's a really important one. And let's go ahead and click on balance sheet to bring it up. So uh, the balance sheet right now, it's a so balance sheet is a list of your assets and liabilities as of a particular date. So right now it is showing us our balance sheet as of March 31st. Okay, so if we click over here on filters, we can actually uh, change that. So we could have it say as of uh, end of last month, apply, and that makes it April 30th. Now, notice if you use one of these uh, predefined dates like end of last month or end of last quarter, it's not giving you an option to give you a comparative date. So generally a balance sheet, you always want to have a beginning and an ending date um, on your balance sheet. So if you're doing a tax return, you want both the beginning of the year and the end of the year on the tax report. That's actually pretty important for your accountant to be able to see your beginning balance sheet. So in order to do that in FreshBooks, we need to do it with custom dates. And so um, let's say we want to run a uh, balance sheet for year to date uh, 2022 through the end of April. So we're going to want to set the beginning date here as December 31st of the prior year and then set a comparison date um, of April 30th at the end of this year. And so now we can hit apply and there we go. This is our beginning balance sheet. This is our ending balance sheet. So this is our year to date balance sheet. Um, for April 30th. So again, it's balance sheets are a, are a snapshot in time, but it's very important that you show both the beginning balance sheet and the ending balance sheet um, on your report uh, because that's it's important information for your accountant uh, to know. So that's pretty much it for your balance sheet options. Um, under more actions here, you can either print it, and if you print it, obviously, like you print anything, you can choose to print to a PDF file if you would like, um, or you can export the uh, balance sheet to uh, Excel. If you hit click send button, you'll be able to email it to them, so you may want to email um, your balance sheet to your accountant. Okay, so that's the balance sheet. Second important report, to send to your accountant is your profit and loss and so I'm going to go ahead and hit that and add that to my favorites and let's go into my profit and loss statement and we can see so right now it's showing for January through December so the entire year of 2022 and it's broken down by month so we have our income at the top less our cost of goods sold gives us our gross profit and then less all of our operating activities okay very good so we can scroll to the right here so it is showing us all 12 months okay so that's the default report uh, let's click on our filters and go over the options that we have so our date range is this year and that's fine we could change that to say this quarter okay so here is the quarter by month or we could have perhaps um, do the entire year but instead of by month, let's do it by quarter. Okay, and then we have our four quarters. Okay, the other important option here is this income. Now it gives us the choice of having our income on the accrual basis, which means we're going to recognize income when we bill it, or on the cash basis, which we recognize income when we collect it. Now, 
it says this is under income but I've checked and this is actually affects both your income and your expenses so if you do the accrual basis your expenses will be deducted when you actually input the bill not when you make the payment if you choose cash basis then your expenses are deducted when you actually pay the bill not when you enter the bill okay which is perfect that's what you want it should have that that choice should affect both your income and your expenses so that's great most taxpayers are on a cash basis um, method of accounting so you want to make sure you know what your method is ask your accountant um, if you don't um, so I'm going to assume we're cash basis so let's switch over here to a cash basis taxpayer so we can print this for our tax returns okay one I want to show you here is I believe under our yeah under our vehicle insurance expense here notice we have nine hundred and fifty nine dollars but that's broken down between eight hundred and fifty dollars that's an unpaid bill so we've entered it as a bill but we haven't paid it yet well right now this is on the accrual basis because we haven't hit apply yet so this is on an accrual basis it's including that eight hundred and fifty dollar expense let's click apply to change to the cash basis okay now if we go down to vehicle insurance yeah there we go vehicle insurance it's just the hundred and nine twenty one the eight fifty of an unpaid bill is no longer being deducted so great so there we go so that's really the options we have um, for our income statement so uh, under here again we can export it to Excel we can print it or we can email it fantastic okay so let's go back to reports um, probably another report your accountant might like would be your trial balance so uh, notice the balance sheet groups things together a lot more than just by account so for instance the balance sheet shows just a cash amount okay so it automatically changed the date on us um, okay see so it just shows a cash amount well we have a couple of separate cash accounts and so it's useful sometimes to be able to see your accounts uh, uh, separated by actual accounts and so to do that we can't look at financial statements we have to look at our trial balance so let's click into trial balance see here we can see we have a negative balance in our petty cash account of 7200 uh, if this wasn't a just a sample company I, I would be very concerned um, but again the that's just from sample transactions that we've entered and then we have our US bank checking account uh, with a positive balance of 1400 so uh, sometimes you need to see more detail than given on the financial statements and so that's when you come to this trial balance okay um, filters you can give it a date range so a trial balance needs a range just like your income statement does so you can select the range there and then just like the other reports you can export them to Excel print them or email them okay so I just want to talk about a couple of other really handy reports here in FreshBooks um, we have our accounts aging report and accounts payable aging so generally accounts aging so this is dealing with clients so that means this is an accounts receivable aging it's going to show you how old your accounts receivable are or how how far overdue are your accounts receivable and so in this particular sample company right now we don't have any invoices outstanding so nothing's old but it'll show you the client that owes you money and how much overdue it is so if it's if they're not if the invoice is not overdue yet it'll be in the first column once it becomes 30 days um, or more late it moves columns so 31 to 60 days 61 to 90 90 plus days very handy uh, report to print out very handy for knowing when you need to contact your customers with collection issues okay um, excellent and then we have our accounts payable aging so this is about you owing money to your vendors and so here it'll show you uh, which vendors do you owe money and if it's current or if it's 31 to 60 61 to 90 or 90 plus days overdue so this is really handy in helping you manage your bills um, unfortunately sometimes cash flow is not what we want it to be and so you end up uh, not being able to pay all your bills on time this is a great report to help you decide which vendors need to be paid with the limited cash that you have so really good report there are other reports that you can scroll through and investigate on your own 
Um, but those are the main reports, certainly the reports that your tax accountant will want to see uh, at the end of the year. So again, my name was Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. We have five of these free FreshBooks tutorials. I'll throw a link in the description uh, so you can find all five of those. And um, I hope you find this tutorial series helpful. Thank you.